why do I insist on using the King James Version of the Bible and reading Old English? Well, let me show you one of the biggest lies in Christianity that I guarantee you, you have believed. All right, let's see it. Let's start in Matthew 5.22 with the newer translations, and I'll read it to you as you already know it. It says, and this is Jesus talking, But I say to you that everyone who is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment. So when you read that, and you read the words of Jesus in the Sermon on the Mount, you read, wow, uh, I better be careful and not get angry with my brother, or I'm going to be liable to God's judgment. And that's what's taught in Christianity today. So let me read it to you in the King James Version Bible. But I say unto you, that whosoever is angry with his brother, without a cause, shall be in the danger of judgment. You see how it says without a cause? Those three words change entire Christian doctrines without a cause. So there's a time to be angry with your brother, and it's with good reason, not without a cause, right? And here, here's, let's read in the newer version. There's a little uh, number three next to it. It says down in the very bottom, it says, some manuscripts insert without a cause. So they admit plainly that they've taken that part of it out. So you'll notice this creator is not paying close attention to the footnote they just read because it does not say that this had always been in ancient manuscripts. It said some manuscripts insert without a cause, meaning it wasn't there and they added it in. It is a secondary addition to the text and we can demonstrate this. This is P64. This manuscript is the earliest known witness to this passage in Matthew 5. And just at the very bottom in the red box you can barely make out the tops of some letters and those letters can only be the end of the genitive word of him or his and the beginning of the Greek word enochos which means liable or guilty. And the word eki, which is generally translated without a cause, would have to go in between those two words. And guess what? It's not there. So the earliest manuscript witness we have to this passage doesn't have it. The next two earliest witnesses are Codex Sinaiticus and Codex Vaticanus. Let's take a look at Codex Vaticanus. As you can see here inside the red box, you do not have the word eki in between aftu and enochos. It's just not there. So let's take a look at Codex Sinaiticus, which is the earliest extant witness to the entire New Testament. Now you'll see the word eki is there, but it wasn't in the original hand. It was something someone added to the margins of the manuscript in a later scribal hand. In other words, somebody inserted it at a later time, and it is not original to this text. In other words, the King James Version is representing a secondary reading. Someone added it into the text. Newer translations of the Bible are restoring the original text. So what this content creator is getting upset about is the restoration of the more original text. Why? Because that conflicts with their preferred dogmas. Because they would like to have authorization. They would like to have justification for being angry with their brother. And so they would like the King James Version to be original. But it's not. Because originally Jesus just said anyone who is angry with his brother is liable or is guilty. And they've sold us a doctrine that you should never be angry with anyone ever. And they've tried to sell passive Christianity by taking things out of the Bible that were strong Christian doctrines before and are no longer in the Bible. So now it just says, don't get angry at all. Just live and let live, brother. Don't ever be angry. And I guarantee you believe that because you've read it in these newer translations. But right here it says, without a cause. So, in short, this creator is rejecting the words of Jesus because their identity politics and their dogmas are more important to them. And the fit for this video has been The Dark Knight.